On the 28th of March 2022, this video uploaded by Guardian News would break the world record for the most viewed non-music video in 24 hours. One year later, this record would not only be beaten once, nor twice, but three consecutive weeks in a row. In this video, I will be telling you the strategies and tricks he used in the intro, in the video itself, in the thumbnail, and much more. But I don't want to waste your time, so let's get into the video. When I was researching for this video, I stumbled across a lot of things that I've not seen anybody else talk about, which I'll get to later on in this video. But I'll point out the most obvious trick Jimmy uses, and it's the same thing I just did right now. Foreshadowing. In these three videos, he uses the same formula. He starts with saying a phrase, which will get you hooked, then shows you what will happen later on in the video. With the C video, he shows them struggling to build excitement and stake. With the holiday video, he shows all the locations and experiences he'll be doing. And with the country video, he shows you all the games they'll be playing. Jimmy literally does this for every single video of his. So I still don't get why a lot of creators aren't implementing this. And it's not only applicable for Jimmy. Like I mentioned earlier, even I did it in this video. And this is an educational video, so there's no excuses not to implement it. Staying on the same topic, the intro. An easy way to build engagement is by using animations and motion graphics whilst you explain what the video is going to be about. I won't show you how to animate because that would take obviously many hours but I want you to take a closer look at the intro for the country video where he uses exactly this to explain the first challenge. Are you ready for the first event? Yeah! You have 30 seconds to get across these three hurdles that get bigger and bigger before this giant wall closes you out. Or the C video where he shows you what they need to build a shelter. So step one, uh huh. We're gonna get sunburned if we don't get shade. And I had survival specialists equip this raft with tons of wood, rope, and everything else we would need to build ourselves a shelter. The next trick is probably the most important trick Jimmy uses to hold your attention. And I'll actually explain it with a movie example. In any movie you watch, there's someone or something progressing. The same thing should happen in your videos. It makes sense, right? If you're watching a movie, for example, and it stops progressing, you're not gonna finish it or you get bored. Yet, most creators don't have progression in their videos and unfortunately this might be you but you might be thinking right now ah i don't make videos like jimmy and i'm here to tell you that this trick is not limited to one niche you can implement progression as a talking head creator challenge creator like jimmy or even a gaming creator progression is important to take the viewer on a journey this can be a journey of a character or just a story in general literally you can use progression for a short story in other words storytelling which i made a separate video on going in depth on the step-by-step -step framework to youtube storytelling but okay now you probably want to know how Jimmy used it. With the C video, it was as simple as putting the day counter in the top left corner. Yes, it can be as simple as that, yet still powerful. With the holiday video, it was the price of each holiday. Again, just the graphic in the corner. Whilst in a country video, it was the graphic of the earth becoming more red for each round that finished due to the countries being eliminated. These examples give the viewer a sense of progression. In other words, it keeps the video always moving. All right, before I go to the next trick, I want to sum up what we've talked about so you won't just forget it tomorrow when you wake up. The first trick is foreshadowing, where you show the viewer what they'll get by sticking around. The second one is animation slash motion graphic, which is used to explain something visually to make it easier for the viewer. And the third trick is progression. Always have the video progressing to minimize drop-offs. Let's move away from the video and to the thumbnail which played a big part in breaking the record three times in a row. And I'm gonna make it as general as possible, so if you want a simple talking head type of thumbnail or a documentary style thumbnail, you can implement what I'm gonna talk about. In all three of these thumbnails, there's something similar. It's the color usage. The thumbnail has clean natural colors which is so important. I'm telling you, if the color is on point, the rest of the thumbnail most of the time doesn't matter as much. But take this with a grain of salt though, because you need other elements to get someone to click but to make them stop scrolling the colors are the most important thing because the most eye-catching thumbnails are simply the thumbnails with the best colors the same is in the advertisement why do you think this poster works not because of what it says but the colors this is very psychological which i talk more about in thumbnail psychology now i'm going to tell you the most valuable trick jimmy used in these three videos and it's keeping it simple this trick can be interpreted in many different ways for example the editing not being too fast or the music not being too loud but my definition of this trick is 
through what he says. Again, this trick works for any creator in any niche. Jimmy and anyone else in these three videos use simple language. The number one way to reach a wider audience is by talking to a wider audience. So if you're using two niche lingos or you're talking like a scientist using complex words, you won't reach a wider audience. And I'm not telling you to not have specific phrases which only you and your community know. That's a very good way to build connection with your community. But if you want to appeal to the widest audience possible, it will drastically reduce your results. Value over entertainment. Remember that. Thank you for watching and bye.